Welcome back to 7 at 4 live at the Floyd Country Store. You've seen this guy uh, right here next to me. He's come to our work plenty of times. I'm finally That's making right. it down to Dylan Locke's work, owner here of the Floyd Country Store. Dylan, yeah. man, thanks for having us down oh, here. Oh, man, thank you all so much for being here. Glad you're here on a beautiful Friday evening. Yeah, got the Friday night jamboree. That's actually, yeah. we're setting up on the stage now, and uh, this is, what do you call it, the calm before the storm, right? The calm before the storm. It's getting ready to go down. So for somebody that's never been here, like myself, and even Melissa never been to the store, mm -hmm. um, I've been to the store a couple of times, but I've never been here for a Friday night jamboree. Yeah. What in the world should somebody expect? Well, it's a beautiful uh, gathering of community, and we have our locals and regulars that have been coming here, some of them for the 40 years that the event's been happening. And then we have people from all over the world that come visit us in our little one-stop light town here. And uh, we have a, a nice set of uh, gospel and bluegrass music, and then uh, it segues into some old-time dance music, and the dance floor is packed, and it's just... Uh, a good old time from for the rest of the evening. And I got smartened up yesterday or Wednesday. It is old time, not old time me and not bluegrass, but old time. It's old time. That, we do have like, bluegrass music too, but it's, uh, it's like an old, Appalachia kind of. Folky yeah, old time style. music is just sort of older. It's the music that would have been played here hundreds of years ago and, mm -hmm. and in celebration. So not for performance, but just for uh, a good old time. Yeah, uh, get you get you moving, yeah. uh, picking and a grinning. That's right. And you mentioned hundreds of years ago because I mean this people settled in this area down in this part of Southwest Virginia, Floyd, Floyd County, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, yeah. and then this place has been really a gathering spot and institution for well over a hundred years. Tell us well, about the has. history of this place. Yeah, the Floyd, the, this is the Floyd Country Store now, but it's been farmer's supply, it's been a grocery store, it's been sort of the beacon of downtown Floyd and the place that people would come to gather and, and uh, connect with each other. And around the uh, late 70s, early 80s, we call it 1984 because that's when the Friday Night Jamboree was given its name. Uh -huh. So we're celebrating 40 years this year. And uh, through all those years, it served the community in different ways. And now we do it through joyous celebration of music and dance, good food, good friendships. And uh, people, you know, flock here to, to just sort of soak that in. Literally from around the world. Yep. I, I, I heard your wife Heather was telling me that you had an Australian here. Not that long ago. We had an Australian, a New Zealander, we had we, all over Europe, we had uh, you know, South Korea recently, um, down in South America, all over the United States. Uh, it's rare that we give away a hat, which we give away a hat to the furthest, farthest person, uh, the person who's come the farthest away. Every uh, Friday. Every Friday. Okay. And it's hardly ever the U.S. That's wild. Yeah. So, sorry, Roanokers. Uh, if anybody, look, that means you can just buy a hat. Do that. Well, we uh, want you to come still. Yeah. But, what, what, yeah. Is, what does that say about this place and what you guys have carried on the legacy of the country store that people Google things to yeah. do in Virginia and you guys are right there near the top and people literally they're retiring in Floyd just to come live within a walking distance of this place. Well unfortunately there's just not enough of these type of places left in the world and I think when people experience it it makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, all generations are coming together. You have four-year-olds dancing with 80-year-olds and you have everyone in between. <laughs> That's the good. intergenerational thing is uh, incredible. The traditions are being kept alive by young people and uh, when, when our friends who visit see that in action, they're just filled with warm feelings. And, and that just sort of tends to, they go out and tell their friends, you got to go to this place. And, and we're here for them when they come. It's truly special. Yeah. It really yeah, is. You, you, can, it. you can feel it walking in here, like yeah. if the walls could talk. Yeah, these walls have seen a lot of things. And it's, it's uh, you know, the, it, it, it holds the space well and, and welcomes people in and our staff does a good job and, and all of the locals and regulars are sort of our ambassadors. Mm -hmm. So like if you walk in as a new new person, you're pulled out onto the dance floor. You're, you're welcomed. They talk to you. Everything is like you're their, their new friend. I, I told Heather, it's almost like the Green Bay Packers, like the town owns this place. You, you guys are just the caretakers. Totally. We are stewards of this facility. This is does not belong to us. All right. we, we have a deeper financial relationship. Yeah, of, of course, yeah. The, the bank <laughs> but, uh, will talk about that. But it that. is everybody's place for sure. So uh, we got to wrap up. at 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, ticket price or anything? How does that work? Yeah, there's a, a $10 admission at the door there's it's cheaper for children uh, it starts at 6 30 the dancing starts at 7 30 goes all the way till 10 o'clock all right you don't want to miss it and if you miss uh, this Friday guess what 
you can come next Friday That's and right. the Friday after that. Yep. Uh, Dylan, and music five, six days a week. See, it's place. I'm yeah. telling you, it, it's, it's truly a special. If you've never been to the Floyd Country Store, need we say more? But we're going to because we got a whole lot more coming up here on 7 and 4. Dylan, I uh, appreciate you Thank guys' you hospitality, so of Thank course. You. Yes. Uh, hometown Eats, a live musician, and maybe, just maybe, some ice cream in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. 7 and 4 live at the Floyd Country Store coming up after this break.